Hi, this is Soumya Pillai and welcome to another episode of Pure Science. We all know Venus to be the second planet from the Sun in the solar system. The planet is also known to be the dry, uninhabitable neighbour of the Earth. But this might not have been the case always. Researchers from US's University of Colorado have solved the long-standing puzzle of how Venus lost all its water. To properly understand the findings of this groundbreaking study, we will have to first understand some facts about this planet and what some research studies in the past have already found. Billions of years ago, Venus was believed to have as much water as Earth has today. This suggests that it could have once supported life. There are indications that Venus lost all its water over time, reaching a point where it now has around 100,000 times less water than Earth and average surface temperatures ranging to as much as 460 degrees Celsius. Now, scientists in the latest study used computer simulations and found that hydrogen atoms in the planet's atmosphere escaped into space causing Venus to lose roughly twice as much water every day compared to previous estimates. Erin Kangi, the co-lead author of the study, explains the process like this. The solar system has a narrow ring around the sun in which planets can have liquid water on the surface. This is called the habitable zone. So, depending on where a planet is positioned in this habitable zone, its chances of supporting life increases or decreases. Earth is right in the middle of this zone. Its immediate neighbours, Mars and Venus, are on either side of this habitable zone. Mars being too cold and Venus being too hot. Where a planet sits in the habitable spectrum also depends on how much energy it receives from the sun and how much energy it radiates away. The theory of what led to the loss of water on Venus is connected to this balance because it is the same balance that supports life on Earth. The question now becomes how this balance got altered for Venus. During Venus's early life, sunlight broke water into hydrogen and oxygen. Atmospheric hydrogen is known to heat up a planet. When the heating becomes too much, hydrogen starts escaping into space. This process is called hydrodynamic escape. In Venus, when hydrogen, a critical ingredient of water, started escaping, water ceased to exist. But there were still some unanswered questions on why hydrogen continues to be removed in Venus. Erin Kangi says that it is like dumping all the water out of a water bottle. Despite being empty, we still have some droplets left. For this reason, ideally, there should have been remnants of hydrogen remaining on the planet, but that's not the case. Researchers have explained that a certain chemical reaction is continuing in Venus's atmosphere, causing the escape of hydrogen to be much higher. This part of the study is slightly complicated, but is also the most important, so please stay with me. In the atmosphere, the positive HCO molecule breaks up into a neutral carbon monoxide molecule and a hydrogen atom chemically known as CO and H. This process energizes the hydrogen atom so that it exceeds the planet's escape velocity and escapes to space. This process is called the dissociative recombination of the positive HCO. According to this study, dissociative recombination is continuing in Venus even now and has led to its drying up. The study has confirmed that Venus's water loss has not been caused by a one-time incident, but by a combination of methods over a period of time. 
The scientists also indicate that there could have been oceans present on Venus in the early part of its life before the process of dissociative recombination and hydrodynamic process started. So, there might have been a possibility that during this period it could have had the potential to support life. I will however caveat these statements by mentioning that the current study has not found any concrete proof of the definitive presence of oceans or life on Venus in this particular study. This will probably require dedicated interplanetary missions. But these findings have filled the missing piece of the larger puzzle of how planets become habitable. Not just Venus, the principle can also explain how Mars for instance is losing its water or if Earth in the future could lose water following the same process. The findings of this study are also extremely important for India. The Indian Space Research Organization is preparing for a Venus mission. According to ISRO chairperson S. Somnath, the payloads of this mission have already been developed. In past media interactions, he also mentioned the importance of studying the characteristics of Earth's neighbour. He said and I quote, Earth could one day become Venus. Maybe 10,000 years later, Earth will change its characteristics. Earth was never like this. Long back, it was not a habitable place, end quote. He also went on to say that Venus has an atmosphere which is extremely thick. The atmospheric pressure is 100 times that of Earth and is full of acids. You cannot penetrate it. We don't even know if the surface is hard or not, Somnath said. The Indian Space Agency will try to find some of these answers in its mission which is currently being unofficially called Shukrayaan 1. Maybe after 2027, when the mission is expected to take flight, we will know more about Venus. For more such videos, do subscribe to The Print. Thank you for joining me.